Hi, today on Poptography, I'm gonna show you how I use these two Funko Pops to create this image. Hi, and welcome to Poptography. Today we're going behind the scenes of how we use the new Phantom Menace 25 year anniversary Obi-Wan Kenobi number 699 and this Amazon exclusive Qui-Gon Jinn Tatooine 422 to make this really cool image of that iconic scene of both Qui-Gon Jinn having just got done trying to uh, melt through the door with his lightsaber and Obi-Wan Kenobi posting up getting ready for some oncoming battle droids from the Phantom Menace. So without further ado, let's show you how we pulled this off. So the first thing I did is I needed a background image. So I found this background image to use and it was perfect. It's that room where the Jedi were just sitting, they tried to gas them and whatnot, and they take on the uh, battle droids and the droidicas right outside that door. So we started with that, but I also wanted to give it the kind of uh, glow and everything of Qui-Gon Jinn kind of putting his lightsaber in there, trying to melt the, the lock of the door and also trying to cut through it. So I actually went into Photoshop and created that effect um, prior to even shooting because I wanted that to um, I was actually going to try to keep the virtual volume or my computer screen in the shot without having to replace it um, and get that with the right angle so it had the right depth of field um, from the Funko Pop to the background to really kind of fall just slightly out of focus and sell the uh, realism of these pops are in that environment. The next thing I did is I used my loom cubes which you know I usually use a five light loom cube setup not much different here. So what we started with was my first loom cube, which I had on a boom and used as a hair light. And as you can see, that's kind of adding the, the first little bit of light that I wanted. It's uh, you know not too bright, but enough that's given all that uh, nice detail in the top of both uh, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon's heads. The second loom cube is really kind of my main light. Um, and that is kind of on a 45 degree angle from the left side coming at our characters. Uh, and that's also diffused to give a little more even spread of that light. And that's come out, it's not really also too bright. It's just enough that we're getting uh, more of a, a flat light, if you will, just coming across our subject, which we're going to add more lights, which will eventually carve each of them out. So to carve more of that out, and also to give the play of the lightsabers, the first one we start out was with Qui-Gon. So we put a green gel and a snoot, and we had that really aimed on that lower end, because that's where his lightsaber is. So really kind of sell that glow effect of the lightsaber, as well as I said, it's gonna start carving them out. That light's gonna kind of play into the sculpt as well. The third loom cube that we then added, um, we, or actually fourth, um, we added was the blue one for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, blue gel on a snoot, um, and that was coming more towards the top right side of Obi-Wan Kenobi, because he's holding his lightsaber up in that fashion. So we really want to sell that. And once I got those kind of set up and looked at it, I just felt there's something missing. Um, I felt that they needed a little rim, so I wasn't sure from the left or from the right. I decided in the end to go with the right. So I added that fifth loom cube, diffused with some barn doors, and that's coming on an angle from the right side of the set. Um, basically skimming the uh, side of Obi-Wan, giving some more definition to the robes, as well as hitting Qui-Gon and given a little bit of fill and more carving out the side of him as well. So I think that really kind of, it was that balance that I, th I thought I was missing and really like to have that in my kind of images. I kind of always usually have uh, a nice rim or something like that on them. So um, once I got that, I just did a little underexposure and captured this image. Now, after capturing the image, what we did is we brought our image into Photoshop and we really didn't have to do a whole lot to this. So the first thing I just did was, uh, there's a little uh, edge to the image. I cleaned that up with a little generative fill. Um, then what I did is just went in and played with some uh, U 
vibrance, um, some saturation in the levels, just to kind of get the colors and the, the, the right kind of depth that I really wanted to contrast. Um, after that, uh, it was very simple. We uh, did the lightsaber effects. I started with, uh, of course, Obi-Wan, so we did the blue lightsaber first, then we did the green. And then if you had seen my recent uh, video, um, where I really enjoyed doing an Acolyte poster because um, I was really inspired by all these great new Acolyte posters for the characters you're seeing in some of the major cities and stuff. So um, I used that same lightsaber style swoosh for both Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan in this image. Uh, and I thought it was just kind of cool. It lent itself to something kind of neat. Um, instead of having like blasters going back, it was like, you know, when they first ignited their lightsabers and were ready to be on the defensive. So I really liked that, uh, how it worked out very well for this image. Um, again, doing the Photoshop earlier for the background and kind of adding that glow, it really brings that whole scene together, I think. So I really enjoyed creating this image. I really enjoyed the, the new Funko Pop. It really went well with that Qui-Gon. Didn't feel uh, it really worked as Tatooine. The base kind of seemed very Coruscant. Um, so that one I always felt was kind of odd, but it really had this moment uh, really for me when Obi-Wan and him were fighting side by side. So really glad um, to have created this image um, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you enjoyed this kind of content, please hit the like, definitely hit the subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Poptography. Until then, may the force be with you.